Uh, you've been concerned about TikTok, uh, obviously as a competitor, but also about the national security issues in China. What, what's your take at this point? I mean, it's, it's very complicated. I mean, I, I don't, I don't actually know the the TikTok folks that well, so it's hard for me to judge, you know, their their situation specifically. But one of the things that I think is always interesting, you know, as an as an American CEO and I travel abroad, is that people assume that because I'm, you know, we're, we're American, that like all the data that we have goes to the U.S. government, which of course isn't true. But the reason why they think that is because in a lot of other countries that is true, and that's how, how business operates, is that you know business and the, and the governments are, are kind of much more tightly linked. And I, I do just think that that probably is a reality of how things operate in China, um, is that it's, it's very difficult to run a business without like the government being on your board and being embedded in your company and having access to, to data. So I, I do just think like, that's a, that raises a, a very complex set of questions about like what do you what do you do with that, um, and you know I, I I think you know a bunch of the folks who work at TikTok, um, you know I'm sure they're trying to do the right thing, and I'm sure it's it's complicated, but um, but I, I do think that there are real there are real questions there that I think at least need to be grappled with. I, I don't propose to you know have the answer to this, but I I I, I think that it it is it is a real question. For more tech news, visit em360tech.com.